In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your affiliate marketing website SEO ready. What we're gonna be doing is installing the Yoast SEO plugin, and then with that plugin, we're gonna be submitting a sitemap up to Google Webmaster Console. We're gonna be setting up our page titles and a few other bits and bobs so that Google can index our site really well. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So this video is the first in a playlist that I'm putting together of videos all around uh, marketing an affiliate website that I set up in a previous video. Um, if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. I'll put some links up on the screen now. Basically in that video, we set up a uh, review type affiliate website where um, we can easily post reviews about products and link off and with our affiliate links obviously and hopefully earn some commission. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is getting that website um, ready for SEO. And what I mean by that is getting the on-site SEO right. So configuring the site so that when Google comes in to take a look at it, um, it finds the right keywords and, and all that sort of stuff. And we also submit site maps and stuff up to Google so that Google knows exactly which uh, posts and pages and reviews we want it to index. Now, as I said, this video is part of a series. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna be adding some more content and doing a bit more SEO. So be sure to subscribe to my channel um, to make sure that you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Okay, one thing I do wanna say with regards to SEO is it's made up of uh, a number of different things and your kind of on-site SEO, which is what we're doing in this video, in terms of configuring your site and making sure that it's very visible to search engines, is only one part of it. You are gonna need to uh, still create lots of content and kind of syndicate that content out across the web using social media uh, and that sort of thing so that you can get some links to your website and gain some reputation in order to kind of raise your search engine rankings. Just working on your site itself without, um, you know, I say producing the content and all the rest of it um, is not gonna work. Um, but I say this is a very important step that we're gonna do today, but it's not uh, everything that you need to do in terms of getting your site ranking on Google. Anyway, uh, I think we should get started. If you get stuck obviously at any point or you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, let's get on the computer and uh, and get going. Okay, so I'm over at the website. Uh, okay, so I'm over at the website, bestwpthemes.info. I'm already logged in, so the first thing we're gonna do is install the SEO plugin, um, which as I mentioned is called Yoast SEO. So I've just gone back to the dashboard. I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. And then just gonna do a search for Yoast SEO in the box up here. There it is, I'm gonna click install now. That's done, let's click activate plugin. So this is a really powerful plugin and uh, allows you to configure kind of all aspects of the site with regards to SEO in terms of optimizing content and all that sort of thing. Um, but the first thing we need to do is just go through the settings. So that's installed, you get this little kind of thing here, it gives you notifications and stuff. So let's just see what they say. Okay, it's given us a few little tips, but uh, that's fine, we're gonna sort those out in a second. Okay, so down here it's added this uh, bit here called SEO, so if we just go through the different uh, bits from the dashboard now, um, if we go to titles and meta, let me just close this thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. So all this is fine, you can change your separator if you want. These are fine, we'll go, I'll show you how to do this in a second. In here you can set like a template for the page title. So the page title is the bit that appears at the very top um, of your browser in the tab. So for example, the page title of this page I'm on now is called Titles and Metas. See there's a hover that comes up. So on any kind of web page, if I just go to the home page as well, I'll show you what the one we've got on the home page is currently set to. It's currently just set to home hyphen best WP themes, which is not um, the best really. You wanna include your keyword here. So for example, I should probably put something like uh, WordPress theme reviews or something like that. Um, and I say that's the most important thing when it comes to Google reading your page uh, in terms of Google deciding what your page is about. Now, it's very easy to set a page title. Uh, I say Yoast kind of generates it automatically. So here it's gonna take the title of the post or the page and then it's gonna put the separator in and then it's gonna put the site name. So. Um, for example, if the post was called um, All About Dogs, the page title would be All About Dogs, separator, which is a little hyphen at the moment, and then the site name. 
So that's fine generally if you call the post, but sometimes you are going to want to tweak it. So on this home page, I want to change it. So to do that, I'm going to go to edit page. Then if we scroll down, Yoast has added this nice little box here, which allows us to do all the SEO stuff that we need. So this snippet is what's going to appear on Google uh, if you ever start coming up on Google, and you can very easily just change it as you like. So at the moment, it's yes, so using the um, the template, but I want to call it uh, WordPress theme reviews. Then I'm going to put the hyphen, and then I'm just going to call it put the site name. Oh, if I can spell. Okay, it doesn't have a slug because it's the home page. Basically, the slug is the bit that comes after the slash. And again, you want to include the keyword in there. So again, if you've got a, a page about, let's say, Labrador dogs, the, um, you want the slug to be Labrador hyphen dogs. So the keyword is in there. Okay, the meta description is this uh, little bit here. So um, again, you want to include your keywords. So um, I'm going to make it a bit more readable. help you find the best, let's conclude the word, WordPress themes again. Honest, impartial reviews. See, I've included the keyword quite a bit there. Now if you type the keyword in here, so WordPress theme reviews, what it does is it kind of gives you scores in terms of how well you've optimized the page. Um, so it's got a green, it's gone good over here, you see. But as you make changes to the page, that'll update, and obviously you want to try and get it as green as you possibly can. So that's the home page done. Let's click update. And obviously you'd want to go through every single page that you produce, and every post that you produce, and make sure that you are optimizing it. In the next video, I'm going to be adding some more content, and I'm going to be doing that on the fly as we're adding content. So um, yeah, be sure to subscribe and then you won't miss that video. Okay, let's go back to the uh, SEO settings. So we were just doing titles and metas. So in here you've got your taxonomies, uh, which are like your categories and tags, and you can decide whether you want Google to index all of them as well. I mean, in here we've got multiple categories and tags. I think it depends on um, whether it's a review. I generally am going to leave that on because I want Google to index. Uh, you're all for archives. Again, you might not want to. I'm going to disable that because what can happen is it can look like a lot of duplicate content. So because posts that I write will appear in my author archive, but they'll also appear on the blog and in categories. So sometimes you are going to want to turn a few of these off. So I'll turn the all for archives off. And uh, let's leave that as it is. Let's see what's in the other. Okay, that's fine. Let's click Save Changes. Again, you're not going to really want to worry about these options. If we just go back to the dashboard. There's a few settings in here. So there's the website name. You can choose whether a company, and you can add your company name and logo if you want. I'll do that later. Uh, in here, you've got Webmaster Tools, um, which is really useful and um, let me just show you how this works. So Webmaster Tools um, allows you to submit your site to Google. So if I just open a new tab and go to Webmaster Tools or Webmaster, there we go, it still found it, Webmaster Tools. Obviously you need a Google account, you need to sign in um, and then when you do you get a site like this. I've obviously got quite a few sites in here. Let me just add a property up there and then I'm gonna add this site which is bestwpthemes.info. Okay, so now we need to kind of verify ourselves. And Yoast uh, helps you do this. So what you need to do is, if we go to alternate methods and select HTML tag, and it brings up this thing. What we need is this string of underscore letters, numbers, whatever, dashes, that little bit there. Not the whole thing, not where it's got the metonym, just this bit. It's not gonna let me copy all of it. It's gonna try and copy all of it, so let's just Sorry, it is going to try and copy all of it, and it's not going to let me copy this little bit. So then if we go back to uh, the general tab where we are in the webmaster tools, 
if I just paste that into Google Search Console, and I'm just going to remove all that other stuff. Hang on, if I can click. So you just want the bit where it's got content equals, and then remove the speech mark, and then everything in between the speech marks you want to keep like that. Then click Save Changes. Okay, that's saved. And if we go back to our Webmaster Tools and click Verify, we get a green tick and we're ready. So now we've submitted our site to Google and what will happen is you'll get some really cool information coming back uh, from Google in here about crawl errors and search analytics and all sorts of exciting stuff. It also allows us to submit a sitemap, which is really useful because it tells Google exactly what posts and pages and stuff we've got on our site. So if I click on this sitemaps, comes through to here and then we can click this button here add sitemap and the good thing is is that Yoast generates as a sitemap so if we go down here to XML sitemaps and then click XML sitemap ah we've got a 404 error now this can happen but I've got an easy fix to it let's just close that what we need to do is if we go to uh, settings and permalinks What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, save these again. I'm not going to make any changes, just going to save them again. And let's go back to SEO and XML sitemaps. Click XML sitemap. And here we go. So then I'm just going to copy this bit here. Sitemap underscore index dot XML. Go back to our Webmaster Tools. Paste it in. Click Submit. Refresh the page. Now Google's gonna come in and have a look and, and uh, go through our sitemap and hopefully start indexing some of our pages. So that's really cool. Okay, so there's not really too much more you need to worry about in terms of the uh, Yoast settings. Um, there's an advanced bit in here. which allows you to insert breadcrumbs, but I wouldn't do that. It sometimes breaks your theme. You got a permalinks thing in here, which again, just allows you to kind of tidy up your URLs and stuff if you want. Generally, you're not gonna need to go in here. You may want to check out the uh, social, so you can enter all your social details and it lets the search engine know um, in terms of your accounts. And then you've got some tabs here for Facebook where you can kind of add an image URL, which is the default if you share a post or a post, sorry, a post or a page that doesn't have an image, it will use that. But again, these are probably all a bit optional really in terms of your kind of basic SEO stuff. Um, let's have a look in the search console here. So this allows you to uh, bring data from Webmaster Console into your WordPress dashboard so you don't have to kind of log in there to have a look. So if we click here and then click allow, then we just copy this code here, paste it in. And then if I just select the correct profile, we're all done. So I think that's probably um, all you're gonna need to worry about in terms of the basic SEO stuff. I may go into uh, more detail in another video. But the main thing you wanna do is install your Yoast as we've just done. You wanna configure your page titles and your meta and all that kind of stuff on your content. You wanna submit your sitemap to Webmaster Console. And then you kind of basically got the on-site SEO um, taken care of. And, uh, but in terms of obviously getting rankings, you're gonna need to start thinking about some offsite stuff, which is you know sharing content on social media, and posting on forums, and generally kind of generating links to your website. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some more videos uh, very soon, in, and I've got some content that I'm putting together for this site um, that I'm gonna uh, start to publish, and I'm gonna record a video while I do that. And while I'm publishing the content, I will be running through obviously Yoast and kind of optimizing that content as best I can. As always, if you've got any questions or uh, comments or anything like that, just uh, leave them below this video and I'll do my best to reply. Um, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and uh, do subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye for now.